हाई गाइज वेलकम टू दी आई एम गाय कैंपस डायरीज मुझे पता है कि आप लोग काफ़ी कंप्लेन करते हो कि अभिषेक सर यू जनरली कवर ओनली द प्रीमियर कैंपस इन इंडिया एंड नॉट ऑल कैंपस सो दिस टाइम इन एन एंडेवर टू कवर मोर कॉलेज टू कवर मोर कॉलेज इन बैंगलोर एंड मोर प्रोमिनेंट बी स्कूल प्राइवेट बी स्कूल जो काफ़ी टाइम से स्टैब्लिश है आई कम टू अ प्रोमिनेंट बी स्कूल इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिटी बैंगलोर यू कैन सी आई एस बी आर दिस इज अ वेरी रिनोन्ड एंड स्टैब्लिश कॉलेज तीस साल से ज़्यादा मतलब इस कॉलेज को हो चुका है तो इसका एलमनाई बेस काफ़ी स्प्रेड आउट है आ, मैं आपको कुछ डेटा देता हूँ 2021 के ए के सी सर्वे के हिसाब से दिस कॉलेज गॉड रैंक एट एज दी बेस्ट इंडस्ट्री लिंक्ड इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर मैनेजमेंट माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इतना अच्छा यू नो एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रैंक दिस यू नो दिस कॉलेज सेकेंडली दिस कॉलेज इसकी एवरेज सैलरी की बात करें तो इट्स सेवन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स फॉर इट्स पी जी प्रोग्राम्स द फीस आर टेन लैक्स फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड इसकी हॉस्टल जो ये अच्छे यू नो रेसिडेंशियल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ कनेक्ट करा के कराता है इस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स फॉर टू ईयर्स वॉट वी गो नो डू इन दिस वीडियो वी गो टॉक टू स्टूडेंट्स हाउ डिड गेट एडमिटेड वट इज द एडमिशन प्रोसेस वॉट इज द एवरेज सैलरी विल टॉक टू प्लेसमेंट कमिटी विल टॉक टू फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ऑलरेडी गॉट प्लेस उनका रियल सैलरी एक्चुअल सैलरी वट डेव गॉट विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो स्टे ट्यून First of all, tell us uh, what is the admission process of ISBR like? What is the cutoff percentile which exams does ISBR take? So admission process are on the basis of two. two uh, they have two bases. So first of all, there is a merit base, and second one is on the basis of profile. Okay. So on the merit base, we accept all the exams in national level exams and GMAT as well. And MAT we have two hundred and ten is a cutoff for uh, CAT and uh, ZAT. We have seventy five percent of uh, percentile. Yeah, and uh, we also accept MAT, which has 650 percentile, uh, 650 marks, marks also. And uh, for CMAT, we have 200. Does it have a, an own exam as well? Yeah, they have their own aptitude test. So, uh, if you are you are not eligible in any of this exam, you can go for ISBR aptitude test. Which exam did you take? What were the options you had before choosing ISBR, and why you chose ISBR? I took NMAT. Uh, and mat in and mat i scored around 249 so i had the options of uh, nasimonji uh, all the nasimonji campuses except for from nasimonji bombay the main campus so basically i chose isbr amongst all these options that i had is because of its locational advantage it's of course it's bangalore which has a myriad of opportunities to provide and apart from that isbr also keenly follows the pedagogy of iims like it uh, the it evaluates us on the basis of uh, case studies and analysis and uh, simulations as and so on and so forth so it's mainly focuses on experiential learning so this is why i chose isbr when you say experiential learning can you talk more in length about what do you mean who teaches you these things who are these professors of we have industry experts like professors of practice who come and teach us about the nitty gritties of the industry and they make us corporate ready so that we can understand what what all are expected of us to join before joining the industry so that we can be corporate ready apart from that we also have guest uh, guest talks and guest lectures from various uh, corporate spear heads and also the uh, faculties we have they also they even they have uh, in intense uh, this thing um, experience industry experience and uh, fine uh, and uh, you, they also have an extensive extensive networking and exposure why should someone join i would recommend people to choose isbr just because of the location as it's in uh, electronic city phase 1 and there are so many it companies uh, located so it will be very easy for the placement and the second thing is the case study analysis so from this year uh, the exam pattern is not based on the regular pattern it is based on the case study analysis so we'll be given a case and uh, we have been asked to solve that case and bring a solution for the particular case and uh, the internal mark is weighted more like we have to do reflective writing assignments and all of the stuff so uh, this is a quite interesting way as he said it i am patterns are been uh, closely followed so i would recommend this is the new thing in isbr guys we are at the auditorium of isbr we are not talk about going to talk about a life at isbr specifically tell us tell the viewers about how a typical day at isbr is right from waking up to say sleeping uh, mostly we wake up at maybe 
seven in the morning, and uh, we get ready. We come to. Where the are college. your hostels uh, located? It's nearby. It's okay. uh, nearby in uh, Nilatri. And it's, how's the commute? You have buses, and we, we have buses. Like okay. they come and uh, they pick up, uh, pick us up. Like we have classes in different phases. Like the first class starts at eight forty-five for the first uh, batch. And after that, it's divided ac- according to the sections. So, like I am in F section, so our starts at nine o'clock. So, according the buses are as arranged, so that each section and timings are uh, like fulfilled like that only. Then our classes are from maybe from nine o'clock, and they go on till four uh, o'clock. Mostly before the lunch period, that is, uh, we have the lunch at maybe around one. And uh, before the lunch, we have the studies part and uh, mostly those things. And after that, we have uh, the activities part and the we can say the seminars or the the uh, guest lectures that we are going to have that day. So this is how we go on. So nine to four generally is classrooms, and then if you're part of clubs and committees, then we will be like extending. And can you one of you tell us about the different clubs and committees at ISB? At ISB, it's not just learning. We have around fifteen different committees. Uh, ranging from consultancy to cultural club, even for people who are interested in HR or any any specialization, we have a club for that. If you want to go outside the college, expo- uh, get exposed to many f- fests or, for example, G20 is one of those. Generally, like you described, nine to four are the classrooms. Uh, how hectic is the ISBR life? Because you're also in Bangalore. Then do you also, in a way, tap in the strategic location of Bangalore for your development or for placements or for overall MBA life? We have college till around five, five thirty. Yeah. And since this is electronic city, every single, almost like every single day, we have a different guest lecture happening over here from different industry. So, as a placement and ambassador, it's very important for us to attend such events. We went to the G20 DII event, Tech Summit, CII events. There, what we do is build connections. We speak to the speakers that are there. We speak to the startups, many startups, uh, ranging from 50 to 100 st- uh, startups are there. We go to them, talk to with them one on one, collect their visiting card, um, uh, call them for guest, uh, corporate guest talks. Panel discussion is held. So in that way, we build connections and help our students to get please. Guys, we are taking this moment to talk about a new course, uh, an upcoming course, a course in a booming field that ISBR Business School is offering. It's in product management. We have someone who will talk to us about this. Uh, hello, uh, I'm from the batch of EGDM 2023 to 25. I've taken like EGDM in the field of product management. So basically, the first thing why I took this particular field is like you know every industry needs a product manager, and I think right now, frankly speaking, they make great money. Absolutely, they right. make most amount of money right now. Yes. <laughs> so I think you know uh, if you go into that particular field, you can deal with creativity and other aspects also. It won't just stop in one particular field. So that's one thing which interested me to take this particular job. How are you guys getting trained in this? Uh, it is taken care by IPL, hmm. which is one of the best product learning institute which is in Bangalore. Okay. So all the things is taken by taken care by them. Yeah. Guys, let us talk to one of the professors in one of the live classrooms of ISBR now. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, so, uh, I'm glad to be here. Sir, what are you teaching? If you could tell us. We are the teaching viewers. SQL, Structured Query Language. SQL, the subject which I was never good at, statistics. Uh, so, if I ask you, uh, how do you find the students of ISBR? What do you say? Oh, well, they're very enthusiastic. They like to learn. They like to learn new things. So, they're all business analytics students. And so they're pretty good. They're very hardworking, you can say. Thank you. So, if, if an analytics teacher is saying that the students are hardworking, they are too ex hard working than they are because it's one of the most hard work intensive <laughs> subject. We have with us the PlaceCore members. We'll ask them pinpointed questions. What are the roles that are offered? What is the salary that people can expect? So first of all, tell us uh, what was the average salary of the entire batch? What was the highest salary? And which companies offer you know the average package and which offer the highest package? So average package is uh, around seven to eight lakh and minimum is five lakh. Highest goes to fourteen lakh. Can you tell us which company offered the highest package? Uh, Federal Bank. Federal Bank. Uh, can you also tell us about? Uh, 
few prominent companies for marketing, say finance, HR, which are the roles in marketing, finance, HR, which are very prominent because you are in ECT. So maybe that affects the placements in a particular way. Hello, sir. I'm yeah. Geeta. And uh, for the marketing, we get the companies like Philips, hmm. Aditya Billa. Wow. And for finance, we get uh, PwC, ANZ, uh, Motila Loswal, and uh, some of the HDFC. Wow. And for operations, we get Decathlon. And for HR, we get Wipro Customer Care Services. These are some very good brand names, to yes, be honest. Sir. Can you also talk about a few roles which are offered, for example, relationship management, sales? Yes, we yeah. get the tax associate oh. as a offer, wow. uh, as a role, and mm. uh, relationship manager, and for uh, business development trainee and all. Understood. Uh, we'll now talk to students uh, who've already got placed, uh, final placements in, in a company which they'll talk about, and they'll tell us about the role and also the salary that they've got. Now I'm going to show you the classroom of ISBR. You can see the classroom looks fantastic. Uh, can beat all the B schools in India. And uh, now we have few students here, but we're going to talk to two students who got final placements. Who got placed for their final placements. They got placed in PwC and something which you never get in other channels. They'll tell us about the salary that they got. What salary did you get at PwC? Uh, we are currently getting 7.2 CTC. Both of you have got 7.2. Yes. Congratulations. Can Thank you, you tell us about what, what role is this? Uh, it's a tax associate role. I talked to uh, the placing committee just before talking to you guys. Yeah. And they told me you guys train, get trained in a lot of ways. Can you tell us how ISBR helped you get this role? Okay, so we had a methodical way of training this year. Uh, a group of um, students from Placecom were hired as student ambassadors and under those student ambassadors we had around 10 students and in all those groups we used to have peer mentoring sessions or say group discussions resume building one-on-one -on -one mock sessions so that was very helpful do tell us about your summer internship role maybe i did my summer internship from bajaj alliance in that i was insurance consultant i have to like uh, I have to like make uh, leads, create leads and then make them a prospective customer and in that only I give my NSCIT exams and through that I become a insurance consultant for one year. The summer internship role in a way help you decide your final placement role which you wanted to target? Yeah, like it helped me a lot like in uh, <coughs> my like my specialization is finance so uh, there we have to like that they, they trained us about all the uh, insurance and some finance uh, related topics was also they covered and they helped us a lot in our final placement. Uh, thank you so much for the lovely answers. I had a fantastic day at ISDR. Um, looks great for the fact that it has good ROI. The location is fantastic. If you're targeting a decent college in Bangalore, you should definitely eye this and uh, apply for this college. All the best. Stay safe and take care.